It was an intimate gathering inside Broadway Books. Just the former First Lady Michelle Obama and the women of the book club. They had all read her book and were touched by it in different ways. She told them that at first she wasn't sure what her publisher wanted to see, but she insisted the first two chapters be her story from the heart. So I wanted to tell it, right? I didn't want to tell what was expected. I wanted to tell it all because I felt like having it out there, I knew my story wasn't unique. I knew it was going to resonate. But the fact of the matter is, can you think of the books <laughs> that you can read of living women who are who you will pick up and read on math where millions and millions of people will read the book and hear that story. So she urged them to tell their stories and to empower other women to do the same. We were ushered out after the first few minutes. As word spread, about 100 people gathered outside the bookstore to see Mrs. Obama as she left. Across the street at the Helen Bernhard's bakery, a worker waved a sign that looked like it was written on a cake box. Many stood on picnic tables and benches from the nearby Broadway Grill. Really exciting to have her here in the neighborhood. It's uh, just, she's so inspirational. Her book's really great. Naomi Strauss said she's read about half the book. She was hoping for an autograph. I think it's interesting. The kids gave it to me as a gift, and it was a good choice. And then, after about an hour and a half, she came out. A side visit on her Portland trip that the women involved will likely remember for a long, long time. And there were lots of cheers, but no autographs afterwards. The speech tonight is at 8 o'clock at the Moda Center. I checked some of the resale sites like StubHub a little while ago. There are still some tickets available. They range from about $66 to up to $300 for each ticket. Back to you. Well, what a treat for us to be there for the meeting at the bookstore. Thank you, Pat.